Lane Hire Car University. My name is Conrad Lane. Anytime you're in a situation where your hire car runner causes damage to your car, and for whatever reason, maybe for example, maybe the damage is like $300, but their deductible is like $1,000. At this point, it doesn't make sense for them to even pay the $1,000, um, especially when the damage is so uh, is less than their deductible. So at that point, either A, you can have them file a claim, or you can file a claim, or you can do another way, contact hire car immediately and ask them, hey, this hire car renter um, has a thousand dollar deductible, for example, but the damage is only three hundred dollars. Can I? Can you set up some type of manual invoice to allow uh, where they could charge hire car itself will actually charge the guest three hundred dollars, for example. Just add the invoice, and then at that point they can pay that to your account. That might be a great way to get around this, so they don't have to use the insurance, and so, uh, so they don't have to pay, so they can pay less than their deductible and just pay for the damage at hand out of pocket instead of using insurance to take care of this ridiculous uh, low amount when their deductible is higher than that. Another way to go about it is if you just lost contact with them, maybe for whatever reason, as you remember, maybe they returned your car, it's hard for you to get in contact with them, send them a message to your hire car, see if they respond that way. If hire car approves it, that's a great way hire car can actually uh, take from their, their account. You can do that for tickets that they might get, violations they might get, uh, other fees they might accrue, uh, whatever the case might be, especially for damage, you can uh, consider actually having hire car uh, create a manual invoice on your behalf. Just make sure you send your hire car message to that hire car renter. And as long as they say yes and accept it, now you can actually call hire car. Hire car won't automatically just take the money because you have an invoice. At that point, you just have to file a claim. If they don't respond to wanting to pay $300 or less than their deductible, you did them a favor. Remember, their deductible is $1,000 to maybe, uh, maybe even higher. But say the damage is less than their deductible and you want to do them a favor and they don't respond to that message, Go ahead and file your claim. That's their fault at that point. But if you want to build more rapport, get, help them out. Sometimes there's situations where these are just good people that made a simple mistake or maybe it's not even their fault, but there's damage that happens, so they're responsible for it. There's a great way you can do it to help kind of go independently. Contact Hire Car. Make sure they approve it, say it's okay. Send them a message uh, so that the Hire Car renter can actually uh, agree on the Hire Car messaging so Hire Car can see that. Bam, you're done. That's how you do it, people. That gives you a really great strategy uh, to be able to accept money from this hire car renter without it violating your policy, especially if maybe they broke something in your car, maybe you got a ticket on your car, maybe whatever they stole or maybe they took something out of your car, maybe they took uh, a charger cable, a portable battery, something that's not covered by insurance, and, but they but they still wanna pay for it, don't just take money from them, you can violate your policy that way. Have hire car set up a manual invoice, say hey, they want this guest, this hire car renter wants to uh, pay me for the, car, the cord that's missing or that they broke or the portable battery that they took or maybe they took something out of the car that's not covered by insurance. Whatever the case is, this is a great way to get money back without violating your policy. Just make sure it's approved by a hire car. And that's about it. Anyways, love you guys. Welcome to Lane Hire Car University. Carly and out. Peace.